let's say over the next <clears throat> 12 to 25 years, we do something about the port mm -hmm. um, and we build it up and we make it a nice place to live, how do we prevent gentrification? Mm -hmm. Suddenly, all the families that live around there don't get to see the benefits of a cleaner port. Instead, yeah. they're just said, oh, you're out yeah. because this is now a nice place. The east side can just expand. <laughs> or yeah, something, yeah, you know? yeah, it becomes an extension and, of, yeah. And well, you know, uh -huh. just think about it. Like, you know, go down to the uh, Save the Bay headquarters there. Mm -hmm. Look straight out to the right, and it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous, beautiful, natural bay with sailboats. Mm -hmm. Look to the left, and it's industrial wasteland for us. Like, yeah. it's New Jersey as far as you can see, right? <laughs> and so, seriously. Yeah. So And so what's <laughs> happening here is, like, we take that out, and suddenly that... Beautiful Ooh, stuff. Attractive. The sailboats and stuff just kind of jumps kind right of in there, right? Because yeah. as long as we just seal it up. Mm -hmm. So how do we prevent uh, um, that kind of gentrification of the area? Yeah. I mean, it, it all, it, like, so many problems are answered by just empowering the community to make the decisions about what happens, right? right? And I, I keep beating that drum, but... And we, and we haven't really done that effectively at any point yeah. of allowing the community to, to really make decisions. Or, you know, we have a lot of these boards... Um, I-95 Commission would be an example of like something when you have this big tract of land and now suddenly you just have a bunch of state appointees or you have a bunch yeah. of folks who come from from on high uh, to make decisions for the city of Providence. Right. And it, it, I mean, it, there's a historical precedent, right? It, it's, this has been going on since um, the state for sale, right? That, mm -hmm. that uh, historic uh, article that was written about the rest of the state just benefiting from, from Providence's multitude, like the amount of people that live here, but without having the income. Um, yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's terrible. But the, the answer to the question would be um, to allow the community to make the decisions regarding the future of their own neighborhood. Yeah. When uh, the uh, State House was holding hearings about how to reorder or reconfigure the CRMC, the Coastal Resources Management Council, mm -hmm. I testified in the last day of those hearings, and I brought up some examples that I had heard from the port of Providence, things that the CRMC had done in the port. Mm -hmm. And until that moment, nothing I had said had ever been mentioned oh, wow. in the sense that we, they had never considered the implications that the CRMC has on Providence communities and because they were thinking in terms of like down you know Block Island you know, along the, the coast mm -hmm. they weren't thinking about terms in terms of like there yeah and yet some of the most terrible racist decisions made by the CRMC happened yeah. right here in Providence and it went under the radar completely yeah so completely extractive and you know the port of Davisville yeah Completely run on green energy. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's not great, but the fact that it's not in the neighbors of some of the poorest people right. in the state of Rhode Island, yeah, I'd say. I, uh, I sometimes wonder why we don't expand that port and subtract. I know Providence somewhat doesn't want that to happen for some reason, but mm. it seems like if we expanded that port, we could move the jobs down there. Yeah. And we could maintain the industry that people want to keep. Right, yeah. And move it to Davisville. Where yeah, be. 100%. Yeah. And, and I, uh, I advocate for that. The... There's a group of um, business owners there that represent the waterfront, like the waterfront yeah, yeah. business group, and they have they have on their website they, an old website that says that uh, there's no political appetite to to move down to Davisville. Mm. Well, I think that ought to change. I think I, that we've been pouring money in, and bond after bond goes into expanding the. It port depends of on who you talk to and your political appetite, right? Mm, yes. Political appetite <laughs> yeah, depending, is depending on who you're talking on, to. You know, there's no political appetite yes. among the friends of the businesses in the waterfront right yeah sure yourself, yeah right? if you ask your so, neighbor yeah absolutely yeah. yeah so but if you talk to someone who actually is affected by this or yeah. someone who just cares at all about the welfare or of whose people, kids are suffering from asthma yeah right, right. um the highest rates in the state yeah South actually Providence. some of the highest in new england in new england too and yeah. new england some of the highest i mean i don't know if it's the highest in new england i like to say some of the highest some in new of the england highest. because it certainly is yeah 